Hi, I'm Jesse with Thinkery. Welcome to Thinkery at Home. Have you ever wondered what causes baseballs, soccer balls, and golf balls to curve when thrown or hit? It's called the Magnus Effect and can be explained using Bernoulli's Principle. But what is Bernoulli's Principle? In the simplest terms, it's where fast moving air equals low pressure and slow moving air equals high pressure. As an object moves through the air, the pressure around the object changes, affecting its movement along its path. The perfect example is the shape of an airplane wing. They are shaped so that air flows faster over the top of the wing and slower underneath. This effect is what provides lift for a plane to get off the ground. The high air pressure underneath the wings will push the aircraft up into the lower air pressure zone above the wings. Let's experiment with it ourselves. For this activity, we'll need a few simple items. Disposable cups, two at a minimum. Cups must be same size and weight. Tape, any kind of tape will work. Masking or scotch tape is best. Rubber bands, we'll need plenty of rubber bands, six at a minimum, unless they are large sized. Let's take a quick look at the steps ahead of us. First, we're going to build our cup flyer. Then we are gonna build our launch system. Finally, it will be launch time. Let's start by grabbing two disposable cups and joining them together with tape. I like to roll a small piece of tape and use it to stick the two cup bottoms together. Then we'll use a long piece of tape to connect or join the two cups. Wrap the tape around the seam where the two cup bottoms meet. Be sure to wrap the tape tightly and secure so our cups stay together. For our launch system, we're going to need a couple of normal size rubber bands or a few large size rubber bands. If using normal size rubber bands, we need to connect multiple rubber bands to create a long enough launch system for our cup flyer. Take two rubber bands and pull one band through the center of the other into a T shape. Now pull one end of the upper rubber band over the lower band and through itself. We've now doubled the length of our rubber band. Repeat with as many bands as needed to reach optimal length for our cup flyer. The unstretched assembly should reach at least 12 inches in length. If using large size rubber bands, you may not need to combine rubber bands, or at least not use as many. To prepare for launch, we'll be wrapping our rubber band assembly around the flyer in a certain way. Gripping your flyer at the tape center, Use your thumb to pin down one end of the rubber band and start wrapping it around the center of the cups. Stretch your rubber band tightly as you wrap it. Make sure to overlap each wrap so the rubber band stays in place. Keep stretching as you wrap the rubber band around the flyer. When you get almost all the way to the end, pinch the free end of the rubber band between your thumb and index finger. Then, with the rubber band coming off the underside of the flyer, Pull the flyer back with your other hand. Pull as tight as you think the rubber band and cup can stand. Aim, let go, and watch its flight path. You can also use this effect to make your flyer bend in different directions. Turn your flyer upright and try launching it sideways. Can you make it curve left or right? Try other types and sizes of cups. Will larger cups work? Will cups with different surface textures work the same? Thanks for joining me in this activity. I hope you had fun. Share your activity results in the comment section below. Continue to check out our social media for more hands-on fun at home.